May. Uh, after I'm French, the neck is uh, Czech. Uh, what about you? Because it's really interesting for us to know where people come from because of miles and kilometers, pounds and kilos, Fahrenheit and centigrade, etc. Uh, do we have any na British neighbors? Goodbye, happiness. Uh, hello, loneliness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we love you. We love you. <laughs> now, across the Great Pond, any Canadians? I guess a vast majority of US Americans. Or not? Yeah. Okay, right. Um, it may. Um, quite a few from down under, Austra Australians, Australians <coughs> here, New Zealanders, any other countries, sometimes people come from Israel or South Africa or whatever. So, um, a few British people, our cousins, and uh, US Americans. Thank you. No, I must <coughs> remind you of fasting your seed belt. Now, we don't need a campaign here, like. Uh, Click it or ticket. <laughs> now we're here in Mannheim. As you know, we are we aren't far from France. We see more about Germany all together on the way. Mannheim is a for us rather important town, about three hundred thousand inhabitants. It's a, an industrial town. Many services, many banks, many insurances, and it's the shopping mall of the region. Two important uh, industrial plants. Daimler Benz produces here buses and engines for big trucks. And John Deere Europe. You know those big green and yellow tractors? Yes. Most of those produced in Europe are produced here. 280 a day here. Engines come from France, the cabins come from not far from here. Uh, John Deere overtook in the late 50s an old German tractor company called Lanz that had developed a fabulous, very simple tractor in the 1920s called the Bulldog that could work with any sort of gas. Could have worked with butter, I guess. Anyway, you know how tractors are important in life, don't you? You, do. you know that farmer who sent an advert to a local newspaper looking for a wife with a tractor. Please, please send a picture of the tractor. <laughs> so, John Deere is just ahead of us, across the traffic lights. Um, you might have seen just, we have seen a few cabins. Of the tractor that actually is most, uh, most more harvesters, combined harvesters, etc. As for Daimler uh, Benz, the first vehicle you sort of can call a car was invented here in 1886 by Charles Benz, Carl, German Carl Benz. It was a very small vehicle with a very small engine with a one leather brake on one real wheel, somehow a car. It seemed that Benz wasn't sure there could be a future for those uh, small, uh, horseless vehicles and roads. But his wife, Bertha Benz, thought there might be something to do with that small thing. And uh, one morning, very early, she pushed the third prototype out of the workshop with her two young sons, and she left Mannheim to go visit her parents, who lived at over 100 kilometers, over 65 miles, to the south of Mannheim. They were the adventure, the first car trip ever. The first car trip ever done by a woman. Uh, you'll see in Heidelberg an old stone bridge named that bridge. The first bridge that ever saw a uh, car somehow. Imagine people seeing that small noisy thing, you know, not pulled by horses in the street of Heidelberg. And just out of, out of Heidelberg, she ran out of petrol in a small town called Nusloch. And the petrol used by that small thing was a stain remover that you could buy in a pharmacy. She went to the local pharmacy, could get 
two and a half liters, so half, hardly more than half a gallon. And that pharmacy has, has had a sign for many, many years, first gas station in the world. Anyway, in one day she done, Missy Pence had done 104 kilometers. So the first car trip ever. And she drove, she, she drove like two days later. So I guess you'd be interested, uh, just time, Beata, B-E-R-T-H-A, Beata. Uh, the daughter of one is, of his clients, a Mr. Jelinek, who imported racing cars, Daimler racing cars, on the French Riviera in 1900, was so successful that he could decide that he wanted to, that the cars be named after his own daughter, Mercedes. So, uh, the only case I've heard of, uh, of a um, client who decides of a name of a product. Now, I guess Mercedes, the most famous car name in the world, you know, remember Jenny Jumping? Jenny Jumping? I came back by the Mercedes Benz. Um, all the German cars are produced here in the South, in the two southern states. BMW and Porsche, and uh, Audi in Bavaria, and uh, Mercedes Benz, and uh, uh, well, the Porsche here in this state called the Baden Württemberg. You know, the whole world is full of German cars. It's a very important export product for Germany. It's so important that the car lobby in Germany is incredibly strong, so strong that Germany is the only country in the world without a general speed limit on all motorways. Uh, even if there's very strong green feeling in Germany, like in this state, the Prime Minister, a uh, member of the Green Party, even so, the first German politician who speaks of limiting, limiting speed on all motorways is him. Uh, now, I've mentioned the name of the state we're in. I guess you know that Germany officially is the Federal Republic of Germany divided into 16 states. And if you want to, you can have a look at my maps. I'll let them go through if you want to. If you're not interested, just pass them along. Uh, with on one side the map of Europe. <coughs> and the first thing that strikes you when you look at the map of Europe is that we are patchwork of uh, small, very small, or extremely small countries. 